it's unquestionable that the Arab region is witnessing an unprecedented wave of popular uprisings across the region. And uh, I believe the governments have a key role to play, and the international community, including the UN system, has a prominent role to play seriously in supporting the countries shape or craft a new development model that actually addresses the needs of its own people. Uh, what the UN system and particularly the ILO can do is actually fostering policy dialogue, bringing the social partners, uh, the, the workers, employers, the government, civil society organizations, NGOs and civil society on the same table in order to discuss the key issues that are now being raised in order to shape the new future for the Arab region. And what is very important is that we need to ensure that we actually empower those organizations. What is really needed now, and the key gap, is the capacity. Uh, we need to make sure that those NGOs, those youth organizations, are capable to, be, to participate in the decision-making process. These are their aspirations. They want to be part of the decision. They want to have a say in what actually is affecting their lives. They want a better job. They want decent work. But how will this all happen if they do not have the capacity? So I think the role of the UN and the ILO in the sense of bringing together and fostering social dialogue is to bring them to the table, have them discuss, bring, uh, develop capacities and also build on knowledge from other regions and how this has happened. We need to work at the policy level with the, with the policy makers, with all those organizations fostering policy dialogue, and we also need to work at the grassroots level. We need to learn from other lessons, we need to learn from the projects that we've implemented in the region, and we have to draw upon lessons learned, whether the positive or the negative lessons learned, and we need to bring in the success stories. This is extremely important, uh, and this is, I think, a, a key role that the UN system. We are knowledge-based organizations. We have the, the knowledge, the expertise that we can uh, build on.